At this point, we can safely color me obsessed with buying bags. Hi y'all, happy Friday. I made an appointment earlier to go get my nails refilled because they are going out even though they haven't really grown out too bad, but they're going out and one of them were lifting this morning and once they start lifting, it's not good. So I'm like, let me just go get it taken care of. So I messaged my nail tech and I asked her if I've come at like 3.45ish and she was like, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna pop down there and do that. Maybe go home and sleep. I don't really know because by the time I'm done, I probably it's probably gonna take me forever to get home and I don't wanna sleep anymore because it's too late, but definitely gonna go get them done today I, or, I think I already have like a design I think I'm gonna do the one that I had done before but with white this time because I like the white is more I don't know oh the French looks so good right now as I'm looking at it so I don't know but like I'm gonna go get them done today then go home no real plans after that but I guess I'll see hi y'all I'm trying to make sure that I'm consistently checking in and vlogging I just left work about an hour and a half ago and now I'm on Jamaica Avenue because I came down here with Jules because she had a nail appointment at my nail girl that I recommended her to and I'm really hoping that she has a positive experience because if she don't, I'm not going to hear the end of it just the same way how when I didn't have a positive experience, she would not hear the end of it but I feel like she's going to have a good experience because the girl is Caribbean and it does show that she actually knows what she's doing. Um, We got from Chipotle for like this is not lunch this is dinner at this point and then um i was promised that i was gonna be cooked for however chipotle is busting and i'm sure about the chipotle so i'm like you know whatever let me just take the chipotle and run with it but um we also just stopped to get me some patties because when i work at i don't like to take anything heavy as in like i don't um meal prep to go to i just want something light because the days are typically shorter and so like I will eat breakfast before I go and I will kind of like snack in the middle of the day for lunch and then when I go home I'll eat something heavier for dinner. I don't want to eat heavy during the day and the way how it's set up too sometimes you have early lunch which is like 10 45 and sometimes you have late lunch and you don't know until you get there and get on a floor and actually get an assignment so like there is no guarantee and so I like to like bring small stuff so like I'm getting a dozen patties so that I can have patties to eat for lunch as opposed to having to bring food or whatever and i'm getting real tired of like the granola bars that i be having so i'll still have those to take like one or two with me but like i'm getting some patties so i'm getting a dozen so right now i'm currently waiting for those to be ordered and picked up so we can leave to go eat this chipotle but um i'm gonna be chilling for the rest of the evening pretty much i'm kind of tight because i was planning to go home and sleep this evening and so far it does not look like that's gonna happen because i don't think i'm gonna get home in the next 30 minutes and I haven't eaten yet, so like it's looking a lot of slow for the going home and sleeping. I mean, I'm not, I don't absolutely have to, but I like going home and sleeping because I wake up early and like I feel like my body is a little bit tired, especially because this week I didn't get any day offs. So, um, I'm running on like the lowest amount of energy, so I wanted to go home and sleep today but that does not look like it's gonna work out so we absolutely move but that was definitely the plan you know sometimes you plan things out and they change but and you have to move with it when they change but i'm here i just wanted to check in as opposed to like waiting until after i'm done everything to check in and like give a rundown or whatever so that's what's going on at this point we can safely color me obsessed with buying bags i left my nail appointment not too long ago Super, super cute. Probably won't even show, but like they're so cute. I'll insert a picture of what they look like. Love them, I cut them down shorter. Just cause, most times typically, I'd start longer and then like cut it down as I go along. But I got this little backpack and like I said at this point, oh, I don't think I like this one. I think I'm gonna have the same experience with this one that I have with the one that I currently have. And I'm not thrilled, I don't know. But at this point, whatever. Um, it isn't even convertible. But I'm wondering if I should return it. I kind of purchased it in a hurry. I was deliberating between that one and like another one that I had. 
She was $38.10 and as soon as I swiped my card to buy it, uh, TD messaged me asking if it was a fraud or if I actually made this purchase. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and leave the receipt inside there. Just because I wanna keep it for a couple of days to see if I actually like it. If not, I'm returning the mess out of it. It's cute. It is, but it's just, it's kind of almost the same size as the other one. Can't even, let me show y'all what it looks like before I actually put it on. It's Steve Madden. I had a different Steve Madden one before. At this point, I feel like I'm just paying for the brand. I just need a little backpack that I'm able to like take to work and throw everything in there. So it was $38. Does it work? I don't know. It's kind of like the same size as this other one that I, that I do have, except this one opens. Like you load it from the top. Literally, that's it. Well, the other one is a little bit bigger than me. And I probably paid around the same amount for both of them. But I like having a little backup. Let me see how many days I have to return this joint because if anything, I'll just return it. And if for any reason you're not satisfied, 30 days. All right, so I will leave it in the receipt inside of the bag so I know where to find it. And I'll see. Mm, so we'll see. I'm not even gonna complain about the $38 because I was looking on um, on Macy's to buy one and it was a hundred and something dollars. The one that I was gonna buy, so that's great. Okay, if I don't love it, I'll put it back. I'm turning into Julie's at this point. I think I need to find something to eat because I'm starving and I literally have nothing to eat. I bought these satin bags for like my wigs and like my hair and stuff and I haven't gotten around to putting the wigs and stuff into the satin bags. So there's that, but I'm gonna take my hair down and shower and wash my hair because I'm tired of wearing my hair like this. And because I hadn't, because I skipped my day off this week, I didn't get to wash it because I was planning to wash it on my day off. But this is what she's looking like in two braids. They're not my favorite. Not as low maintenance as I thought. So I'm gonna take them down and then um, wash my hair, shower, maybe find something to eat. I should have stopped at the store just now, but I decided against that. I mean, I did go in there. One of the items that I wanted, they didn't have, so I didn't even bother walking around. I'm like, whatever. I wanted to buy some hangers. So, um, I just came out. But yeah, I'm gonna take my hair down, wash it, find something to eat, whatever that's gonna be at this time of the evening. Who knows? And yeah.